Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into something a little bit different, but still super exciting. This video is part of the Writers Innovation Lab, a new series where I'll be helping writers like you explore cutting edge tools designed to shake up the way we create. Today we're going to be talking all about the Biok app. Let's begin. Biok, that stands for bring your own keyboard. Now here's the fun part. When the founder of Biok reached out to me, I made it very clear, I'm Team Scrivener. I told them, listen, you might not like my review, but they insisted saying we want your honest impression. And well, honest is what they'll get. We'll break down the pros, cons, and whether this app deserves a spot in your writerly toolkit. Plus, I've got a 40% discount code for you if you decide to give it a shot. Cool deal, right? While Biok isn't perfect, and no app is, it has some fascinating features that piqued my interest. All right. Grab your beverage, get comfy, join me as we take Biok for a test drive. Is this the next big thing in writing tools or just another interesting idea? Let's take a look at the bigger picture. The Biok app is just one part of what this company is bringing to the table. They're also launching a dedicated writing device. That's right, a gadget so distraction free, it might literally kick your social media out of the equation. And I'm told I'll get my hands on one later this year. I'll definitely be reviewing that once it's available. All right. Back to the app. Now to keep us grounded, I'll share the pros and cons I discovered while testing out this writing. Let's start with the good stuff. Biok does have some really strong points and here are some of my favorites. First off, we have a wonderful drag and drop project drawer. You have a binder like area that you can move stuff around with ease. And the fact that you can easily drag and drop things around is slick, particularly for a web app. Dark mode and light mode, a small but essential touch. Biok ticked this box and as a minimalist writing app, it's practically a requirement. Whether you're burning the midnight oil or working in the sunlit cafe, you've got options. Minimalist yet robust features. We have a binder, we have a cork board, we have a wiki, we have tags, we have a timer, we have focus, we have full screen. Biok didn't just meet the wish list, they crushed it. And that timer, genius. Split editor. So if you want to write while referencing another document or plot chapter chaos while looking at your outline, split editors have your back. And last but not least, they have a free plan. When you sign up, you get to start out with a 14 day free trial for their standard plan. If you decide not to upgrade, then you're downgraded to a no strings attached free plan. But the free plan doesn't come with any of those cool features I mentioned earlier. Not too bad, right? Yak definitely has some steps in the right direction, but every silver lining has a cloud. First off, it's a web only app. Apps these days want to live in the cloud, but I need a dedicated Mac or PC app. So this one's a deal breaker for me. Unlinked corkboard cards. The corkboard isn't actually connected to the manuscript. Your index cards are standalone, which for me defeats the purpose. If you rely on tight integration, this one might be a deal breaker. The linear outlining feature feels like a throwback. Nice for traditionalists maybe, but it doesn't really fit into my outlining workflow anymore. If you feel differently, great, but I don't think most of us are going to be using that tool. And last but not least, we have price. And here's the kicker. The annual subscription runs over $80 per year, or there's that hefty $2.99 lifetime option. Now, I'm not exactly mad at these prices. I've dropped a lot of cash on similar tools in the past. But to be fair, there are plenty of great apps that do a lot more for a lot less. Plus, there are rumblings of a future pro plan that hint at more upgrades and ultimately more money. Okay, here's my verdict. Biok has put forth a valiant effort, but I don't think they're quite there yet. So if you're brand new to writing apps and want something minimalist and easy to use, the Biok app may be worth exploring, particularly if you plan on investing in one of their devices. But if you need a dedicated Mac or PC app with robust polished performance like me at a fraction of the cost, Scrivener's is still the reigning champ. Honestly, I'm actually more curious about their upcoming Biok companion device. If it pairs well with the app, it could carve out a unique niche and might justify the switch for some. I'm really excited about these distraction free writing devices, so I'll definitely keep you updated. All right, friends, that's my take. You can follow the links in the screen if you want to check it out. You can also use my code Oliver40 to save 40% on your first year. Tell me in the comments what tools you use to write your book. I want to hear all about it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future reviews of new and emerging writing apps and tech. Until next time, write freely, stay caffeinated, and I'll catch you later.